Welcome back to the Pink Elephant, guys. I am Shanae, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today because today's little conversation is absolutely going to be so helpful, so fun. So I get the question a lot, like, how do I get in front of a camera? How do I just talk to people? Um, what is it like speaking in front of a lot of people? And a lot of people feel like they can't do it. But I want to be honest with you that, you know, I never saw myself just speaking in front of multiple people or hundreds of people or whatever have you. Um, and it's a skill set that you have to learn, right? Now, some people are natural talkers, and I do consider myself to be a natural talker. Like, I love to talk. I love conversation. But what do you do when you walk into a space and you don't know anyone? Or what about when you want to go somewhere and no one is able to go with you and you have to go by yourself? Or do you just not go, right? So I want us in 2024 to start thinking about the fact that we can be and we can do things alone. Like we can be alone and we can do things alone. We don't always have to have someone with us. I know some people who will not go and eat lunch alone. And that's very, very common. There are a lot of people who feel like, I cannot sit at a table in a restaurant and eat by myself. So that is something that is not unheard of, but I want you guys to think about being able to do something like that and how empowering it is to be able to sit by yourself and enjoy yourself and not worry about what people think, right? So a lot of a lot of why we don't do a lot of things is because we worried about what other people think, other people think. But if we get out of that mindset, if we shift from that, I think it'll allow us to see our full potential. No, you don't have to be a public speaker. No, you don't have to go everywhere by yourself. But when the time comes and you need to speak up, or let's say your job requires that you present, you know, do a presentation, or let's say you're asked to um, say a few words at a wedding, whatever the case may be, you're able to embrace that moment and own it, right? So let's do that. Let's jump into it. Let's talk about what it's like to embrace your pink elephant moment. And so you, if you guys are joining me for the first time, you may not know what the pink elephant means, but um, a pink elephant moment is being able to embrace a moment that would, excuse me, normally be uh, uncomfortable or awkward or weird or be, you know, everyone looking at you and you feel like you're the outcast, embracing those moments so that you can really truly take up space, right? So being a pink elephant means you're not able to stand out. You're vibrant, you're pink. And then being an elephant means you're huge. You're, you take up space when you walk into any room or any environment. So we are owning the pink elephant moments here on this platform. So let's jump into it. Let's do it. Okay. So first thing I'm going to say is, you know, you guys know I talk about fashion a lot on my platform. So I'm going to start with this. It's not the most important, but I'm going to talk about this one topic. When you look good, you tend to feel good, right? So my trick and one thing that I like to do, I like to make sure that whatever it is that I wear, however my hair is, my makeup, whatever I need to do to really truly feel and look good, like my outer appearance, I need it to match how I want to be in that space, right? So no, our makeup won't always be perfect. No, our hair won't always be great. But spending time taking care of those things is important so that when you walk into any space, those aren't things that's holding you back. Like, it's nothing like saying, I can't go anywhere. My hair's not done. Like, you're going to miss out on going to a dinner or going to a um, performance because your hair isn't done or going out on a date because your hair isn't done. No, we're not doing that. So we want to make sure that we're keeping up with our, our upkeep, right? Keep your hair done. Do your hair. Take care of your hair. If you can't go pay to get your hair done, there are so many YouTube tutorials on how to do a twist out or, you know, do a silk wrap. But taking care of ourselves is a really great way to feel good when we enter spaces. If you are self-conscious, it's going to show. If you are feeling like, you know, I don't belong here because I don't have on, you know, cute clothes, it's going to show because when you walk into the room, you're not going to feel comfortable. Now, I'm not saying clothes and outer appearance is important, but if it's important to you, then you have to make sure you are taking care of that so that you can feel good in that space. You know what I mean? So my tip and my trick is if you know you have something big coming up, right? Right. Don't wait till the last minute to shop. 
Don't wait to the last minute to figure out what your hair is going to look like, what your makeup is going to look like. Go ahead and plan for those things. So if you know you have, you know, your friend's B-Day dinner is coming up and she told you everybody's wearing white, don't wait till like the week of to try to start finding white. Number one, white is hard to find. All right. It's hard to find a forgiving look in white. Okay. So you want to spend time shopping and finding something that's flattering to your shape. You want to find something that you feel good in. You don't want to be tugging at your dress all night. You don't want to be kind of like, oh my goodness, adjusting yourself because again, you're not going to feel comfortable in the environment that you walk into. So find something that works for your body. Find something you feel absolutely fabulous in and that will help you enter the space in a more confident manner. So that's tip number one, making sure that you look like you feel or look how you want to feel, okay? Do whatever it takes to achieve that feeling. That is number one. Number two, when you enter the space, when you finally get into the space, you don't wanna go into the space being guarded, okay? We all know what it looks like when someone doesn't want to be spoken to, right? They're kind of like standoffish. They're in their phone. And I mean, like, y'all, we know how that looks. We know what it looks like when somebody is like, if you, you don't even know if you can say hey to her or him because they're so like off put, like they're, it's, they're giving an off, off vibe, right? So when you walk into a space, you want to walk into a space with a welcoming energy, all right? That means that when I walk into this environment, I'm not even waiting for other people to speak to me. I'm speaking first. I'm walking into the room. So therefore I should be speaking. They shouldn't have to come to me and speak to me. You know, now they can. There are some women who automatically, if they see somebody new, they'll go and introduce themselves. But don't wait for someone to introduce themselves to you or don't wait to speak to someone. If you sit beside someone at the bar, even if it's not an event, you could go and sit at the bar, right? And there's someone beside you. Go ahead and speak. Hey, how you doing? And then sit down, get your menu. You don't have to have a full conversation. But what you're doing is you're letting them know that I welcome good energy. I'm here to bring and, 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 and exude good energy, right? It sets the tone. It sets the environment. And it allows for good energy to come back towards you. Now, let me be clear. Because what we cannot do, we can't control others, right? So there will be times when you give good energy and uh, good energy isn't reciprocated. But that doesn't have anything to do with you. That has nothing to do with you. That's the common misconception. A lot of people feel like, oh, I didn't, well, I didn't like the way she spoke to me. It's okay. We don't know what happened with her before she got here. We don't know if her mama's sick. We don't know if she had problems. Get, her kids might be sick. We don't know if... You, it's so many factors that really... Um, are, are part of a person that is hard to put in, put somebody in a box and we shouldn't do that. The only thing that you can control is what you say, the energy you give off and how you, how you respond to people. So let's do it. Let's, let's, let's do it. For instance. Oh, Hey, um, I'm Shanae. I'm so-and-so's cousin. And they might be like, Oh, Hey, like that. And you'd be like, Oh, Hey, yeah. It's, it, um, what's your name? I didn't get your name. They might tell you, they might be like, Oh, my name, Erica. And be like, okay, how you know? Um, how do you know so and so? Oh, we actually went to school together. Okay, what school y'all? Y'all? Oh, you went to A&T? Oh my goodness, I know so many people. I went to A&T too. And then now they they may loosen up. They may start to have more conversation with you because you're letting them know that there is nothing to fear here. I'm your sister. I think we need to shift our mindset to be more like a sister. When women meet women. A lot of times we don't know what they're, how they're going to respond to us. So we have this guard up. But if you go into the moments where you're thinking, this is my sister and I only want to give her good energy and I only want good energy from her. A lot of times that energy is going to be set. They won't have a fear. They won't have a guard. And remember that everybody is in different places in their journey. So while you are doing work to be mature and to be emotionally intelligent and to be, um, you know, uh, more welcoming, you're, you're practicing, right? That person may not have gotten to the level that you're on yet. So they they may not be able to do what you're doing in terms of starting a conversation and showing that there's nothing to fear here. I'm here for love. Like all I want to give out is love. Okay. So keep in mind that only you can control you and how you respond. So no matter what the response is, when you go in with the welcoming energy and you introduce yourself, whether you're at the bar and somebody barely wants to speak, which sometimes I'm at the bar and people talk to me and I don't want to talk. I just want to do my work. I'll say, Hey, how you doing? And then I'll go back to my work. 
that's okay. That's totally okay. You sit, you order your cocktail or you order your coffee, you do your work or you eat your food. And a good tip too, if you're at the bar, the bartenders are typically always friendly. So if you need some, if you need an icebreaker, you need to warm up, you could talk to the bartender. Hey, what are, what do you rec- recommend me eat? I've never been here before. Or I come here all the time, but I get the same thing. What do you think I should eat today? Those are things that you can do in order to start the conversation. And over time, guys, it'll become easier. Like it'll become a lot easier. So that's tip number two. Go in with the welcoming energy. Do not go in with the defense up. Okay. That's number two. Okay. Number three. Go in with the mindset to have fun, enjoying yourself. We only get this one life to live. We only get this one moment, right? We don't know if the next moment is going to be a moment or we won't be here. So you have to always think about every opportunity as a moment to have fun. It's for you. It's not for anybody else. It's for you. So what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? There can be so many things going on, right? Let's say the person did not want to make conversation with you at the party, right? So you're at the party, you're alone, you tried to speak to so-and-so, someone was, all, you know, they had like a little, you know, weirdness kind of going on, you didn't really connect there. Okay, fine. What are you going to do next? Are you going to just be mad at the, at the whole time at the party? Are you going to sit down on your phone and not enjoy the party because somebody did not speak to you? No. What you do is you find yourself having fun. So if the DJ is playing music you like, enjoy the music, go get yourself a cocktail. If you like a cocktail, go get yourself a mocktail. If you want a mocktail, you know, and enjoy yourself. Think about it as this is time that I get to just have a vibe and be the vibe, right? Go around. And if it's people having fun, go where the fun is. You know, a lot of times when people are having fun, they don't mind fun energy coming to them. So you don't have to stay in a space where, you know, nobody was talking to me or that person didn't talk to me. So I'm just not going to talk at all. You can have fun by yourself. Let me tell you something. I will go into a party. I just did this weekend. I went to a party by myself. My husband couldn't come. He was with the kids. I went to the party. Um, The host introduced me to someone at the table. She was very nice. But, you know, we're across the table and it's loud. The DJ's in there. I'm not going to like wait for, you know, I'm not looking for her to give me, to help me have a good time. I'm there. I made it there. I got there safely. I traveled three hours to get there. The environment is fun. It's nicely decorated. I'm excited for my friend who's hosting this party. You know, they have a bartender. The bartenders are fun. They got a 360 booth. Guess what I'm doing? I'm going to get on the 360 booth. Okay. I'm going to go talk to the bartenders. They recommend drinks. I try some cocktails. You know, the music is good. I stand up in the, on the side, maybe in the back and do a little dance, a little my little two-step. I'm singing the lyrics. If somebody is near me and they vibing, we're going to look over and connect like, girl, this is my, this my song. It's That's the energy I'm on because why? Because I'm there for me. I'm there to have a good time. So it doesn't matter about who is around and who's vibing with me and who's not with me. I would love for my husband to be with me because he's a whole vibe too, but I'm a whole vibe by myself. So we're going to practice this real quick. We're going to practice. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like for me to come into a party. I don't know anyone um, and what I would do. Okay. And then I'm going to show you another scenario of me going to a bar and I'm by myself and I'm going for lunch and This is not even going to be a time where I'm doing a working lunch. I'm going just to enjoy some food. Okay, so let's do it. The first one I'm going to do is me at the bar. Oh, um, I'm here for drinks and some food. Thank you. I'm just going to take a second to look over the menu. I don't really know what I want. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, good. So what do you recommend? I... I'm not really sure what I have a taste for, but what do you guys specialize in? Because I do want to try something new. Okay. All right. So you, I don't know if I really like, I don't know if I like oysters though. I don't really, I'm not an oyster girl with something a little bit more like maybe some shrimp and, you know, maybe some pasta. Okay. The Cajun shrimp. Okay. The Cajun shrimp. I'm going to try that. Okay. No. And then what do you recommend for a cocktail? So I'm typically a mojito girl. I love mojitos. I love um, all kinds of mojitos, strawberry and original. Um, But I do, you know, want to try one of your signature cocktails. Do you have a recommendation? 
okay, I'll try that. So I'm actually from Charlotte. I'm here visiting. Um, so I'm like really, I'm excited because I've looked on TikTok and you guys' restaurant is on TikTok. Yes, yes, you guys come highly recommended. And what was your name? Okay, thank you, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Yes, I will try that drink and I'm excited because I, you know, this is a new thing for me. Thank you, Jake. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Okay, so let's talk through that bar interaction, right? So I got to the bar. He gave me my menu. I told he asked if I was going to stay for just drinks or if I was eating. I'm eating and I'm having drinks. There's someone beside me. Hey, how are you doing? And then they say, good. I turn around because I'm not necessarily looking to have a conversation with them. I just want to speak because I came over to their space at the bar, right? So I spoke. And then now my attention and focus is on the bartender because the bartender is there to talk to me. That's his job, okay? To talk to me and to service me, all right? I don't know what I want to eat. Or even if, you know, you do you do know what you want to eat, let them know, like, look, I come here all the time. My favorite dish is this, so I already know what I want. Can I have this? You could do that too. In, in this instance, I don't really know what I want to eat, so I want some recommendations, he asks, he gives me recommendations for oysters. I'm not an oyster girl. Okay, so what else can I have? He gives me recommendations. Okay, cocktails. Let's talk cocktails, sir. I saw you, and then you start talking about the fact that you found them on, it, on TikTok or tell them how you came across the restaurant. The thing is being willing to let your guard down to let people in. Everybody's not out to get you. Air, trust, believe me, nobody wakes up in the morning, at least I don't think, to say, I'm going to get Sinead today. Like, Give people an opportunity to show how good they are and to give you good energy back, right? Even in, even if that bartender was not as social as I wanted them to be, I'm still going to, one, get the information that I need because that's their job or I would ask for another bartender. Or two, you know, I would allow them, you know, to just give me the things that I need and I won't make conversation with them. I'll just kind of leave it simple. But at the very least, I'm giving them the opportunity, opportunity to conversate with me and have a good in interaction. So that's the bartender example. Now, let's do when you walk into a party and you don't know nobody and you feel weird, right? Let's do that one. Hey, is somebody sitting right here? Okay. Um, I'm going to sit right here if you don't mind. Yep. And I'm sorry. I'm Shanae. What's your name? There. Okay. Nice to meet you, Erica. It's, it's nice to meet you. Okay. Are you, how do you know the host? Okay, y'all went to school together. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually met her through my husband. My husband is friends with her, um, his, her husband. So that's kind of how we met. Yeah, I, yes. How long have you been here? Okay. Girl, I, it took me a minute to get out the house, but I'm so glad I came. It's a vibe in here. It's a really good vibe. Yeah. And I love your glasses, by the way. I, you can see I love glasses, so I love yours. I noticed them right when I came to the table. Okay. Are you having drinks tonight? Okay, I'm gonna get me a little drink. What did you choose? Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna get a margarita. You can't go wrong with a margarita, girl. No, honey, take me to Mexico, okay? You cannot go wrong. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna go over to the bartender. Do you mind if, you know, if somebody comes, can you let them know I'm sitting here? I'm gonna go to the bar and try to go speak to um, the host real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, girl. you need anything? You sure? Okay, girl. Okay, so you guys just saw the interaction with me going to a party. I don't know anybody. I asked to sit down at the table. First, I asked if someone sitting there. No one's sitting there. Cool. Can I sit here? Sure. I sit down. And then I, you know, I break the ice by saying, you know, my name is Shanae. What's your name? I introduce myself. Why? Because I'm going into their space. I'm coming to the table. Why not introduce yourself to the people who are at your table? Why not? Right? And they, she gives me her name back. Now, the one thing I want to call out, my, my responses, even if I wasn't getting good energy back, would have still been my responses, okay? I'm going to still be how I am no matter how dry Erica was, no, no matter how excited Erica was, because Erica could have very well been like, oh, I'm Erica. And then I could have been like, well, how do you know the host? Oh, we went to school together. And in, in her phone, like, we went to school together. Oh, okay, all right, I know her. Um, yeah, my husband and her, my husband knows her husband. And then, you know, okay, so I may have stopped it there, but my energy and my voice and my tone and my attitude would have still been the same. Because I know that's going to be the question. What if that person don't give you the same energy back? Who cares? I don't care. 
And let me tell you why I don't care, guys. I don't care because it's not my responsibility to meet them where they're at, right? Their energy is low. My energy is high. Why would I bring my energy from a high level to a low level? That makes no sense. And if I'm always striving to be the best version of myself, I can't allow someone who doesn't have anything to do with me. Now, mind you, this interaction might be for two hours, 15 minutes, five minutes. But the difference is, and the main point is, when you leave there, you're leaving with yourself. They're not going to go home with you unless you take that energy with you, which you can if you start to go down to their level and adopt an attitude that is not what you're trying to give, right? So my point is, you don't have to worry about what somebody else's energy is going to be because yours is always up here. I'm always going to have high energy. I'm always going to have good energy. And when I say high energy, that means pleasant. That means good. You ain't got to go in there like, why? What's up, everybody? I'm like, I'm Shanae. Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm saying go in with confidence, go in with love, go in with sisterhood, go in with, you know, wanting to give somebody a compliment. It's nothing like paying your sister a compliment. It's nothing like it. It makes not only her feel good, but it also makes you feel good. Because guess what? If you're able to give someone a compliment, that means you got a lot to give. That means your, your, your confidence overflows when you're able to give someone else a compliment. Because it's not taking anything from you because you have so much to give. So like, let's level up. Let's level up this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was, you know, it could have been a little long or whatever, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. I absolutely love the idea of meeting and connecting with new people. Every time I go into a space, I never know who I'm going to meet, but I always find that I have at least one great interaction that I can take with me and think about, you know, the next time I go into that space. So listen, be the person that you want to be and be the person that you want them to be towards you, right? So think about when you are the only one there and somebody walks in and they come over to you and they speak to you. How would you want them to be towards you? Like think about those ways that you want to feel and, and, and how you want to be embraced, right? And that will help you be a better version of yourself. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, make sure you comment below, like this video, share this video. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok at the pink elephant underscore by Shanae. If you are on Facebook, my name is Shanae Pringle on Facebook. But until then, let it call me. Time is up the game.